what has been a major milestone for Tali or yourself during the pandemic? Ah, <laughs> ang dami eh, kasi I've seen it all. <laughs> um, major milestone. I know because I, is, you guys have been locked down for 14 more, months now? 15. Yeah, more than a year. March, April, May. 14, ah, 14 months. So she was two when when the lockdown yes so there's a yes. lot of milestones in between oh a lot um i but i guess um uh one big one is that she started to read she can now she, yeah she 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 can now read um it started with bedtime stories because when she was younger she didn't like bedtime story she just wanted to look at the photos and then and then one day she became so interested she started memorizing books she started memor uh she she's memorized um good night moon um the uh the uh the very hungry caterpillar and yeah. those classic books yeah. and then after a while she started reading uh actually nakakashaksha cuz she's 3 but she started with uh, three lettered um, words, and then now she can she can read um, you mga simple uh, word books lah. She can read um, a book, one whole book on her own. So That's proud ako don, kasi walang teacher yun. Ako lang yun. That's you, all you. Yeah. That's incredible, and and that's a testament to what you can get done during a pandemic. Oh yeah, teaching. I mean, that's amazing. At three, that she can she can read some 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 books. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. That's up to you. <laughs> it could thank be you. Another career. Thank you, thank you. Homeschool mom. <laughs> <laughs> um. Wow. How about for you? Any any milestones, or is that? I started to exercise. Uh, I hated cardio. I hated cardio. <laughs> um, but now, um, just the other day, I did two rides um, in a day. I'm so uh, hooked. I'm I'm so addicted to um, exercising. Um, I don't know who I am anymore, but yeah. That's <laughs> uh, right. It's the endorphins. Yes. Yeah. That. And, and I think it takes, how long did it take you before you hated, hated, and then you're like, oh my God, I love this and I can't live without this? Well, okay, can I just share? Um, I have hormonal problems. I have um, polycystic ovaries. Um, I have insulin resistance. And um, losing weight for me um, has been very, very hard. Um, and then uh, last December, I had um, hormonal issues. And, you know, holidays, holiday din yon. So um, I started eating and I had med meds. So come January, I saw a photo of me and I was just so shocked. <laughs> I was so shocked. I'm like, okay, I, I need to do something about it. So one day I woke up. I said, "I'm I'm gonna I'm st I'm gonna start to really really take care of myself." I started to um um to eat healthy food, um, mindful eating, um, and then I started to work out. Maybe three three weeks after nung naka adjusting body ko. Of course, first week super hira. I was having headaches and all. Um, and then three weeks after I started working out, I started with Pilates, low impact. Um, but I, but um, I just wanted to move. I just wanted to do something. And then when I felt stronger, I started to spin. And then now I'm so addicted, <laughs> super addicted. Well, that's great. I think it's so encouraging for moms out there to hear your story about how mm -hmm. you got it. It's not, it's not been that long and you're honest about how you hated it before, but it's something mm -hmm. I always tell people too, that, you know, you, you, it's really hard to get into the exercise at first, but then there'll come a point. Once you're there. Yes. You're like, Correct. Oh, my body is craving that I'm craving. And, and you know, um, based on my experience, I I really want to say that, I, I really want to say to the moms to not be in a hurry. 
you know, don't get impatient when you don't see results right away. Um, uh, fitness is a lifelong thing. So don't, um, don't, exp- uh, parang, uh, don't want to just get this type of body in like two weeks and three weeks. And then after that, you binge na naman. You know, take it slowly and um, make it um, as sustainable as possible para you can do it for a long time. And, you know, slow progress is still progress. So uh, just keep doing what you're doing and eventually um, you'll get the results that you want. That's right. I like that. Slow progress is progress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, I think that's what derails a lot of women is that they get disheartened. Why or, mm-hmm. or as a celebrity or whoever they're looking at online, how come, you know, it's faster for them or, or all of that. So that's great mm-hmm. advice for our moms out mm-hmm. there. Um, okay. At, at Tally's age, is she already aware of what's happening? No. That's she good. has no idea. <laughs> Keep it that way. <laughs> Sana tayo din. <laughs> that, that wonderful toddler bubble. Um, yeah. Okay, yes. now one last question, promise. Okay. <laughs> no worries. What are your quarantine essentials that have helped you deal with your marriage, but also as a mom? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Or no? <laughs> ano ba? Good. Um, food is so important. I mean, um, that's one uh, huge source of happiness, especially now. Um, activities at home um, that uh, you can do to bond and not just to like just hang around with each other, like to really create memories. Um, what else? Yeah, I think that just, I, I, I think, um, with this whole pandemic, we need to, um, get out of it with very, very strong, um, foundation, uh, when it comes to relationships. So, uh, if there's one thing that we really need to work on, um, aside from, of course, staying healthy, and you know, being um, uh, clean at the house, and and you know, taking care of all of the other things is is the relationship. Yeah, it's most important. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much to all you glamour mamas out there. I hope that you learned a lot of information on how to take care of yourself and your family, especially during this pandemic. And thank you so much, Pauline, for being here today. I had so much fun chatting with you about everything. And Thank you also, Amanda. You're, you're young, but you have so much insight. And that's what I love, you know, chat, you know, sort of having a back and forth with you about because... Mm. You know your take um, from a first-time mom's point of view, and yes, thank you, thank you, Emily. Um, are, are there any final thoughts you'd like to share with uh, our glamour mamas? Well, um, to all the glamour mamas watching right now, just take it easy. Don't put pressure. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. We're gonna get through this eventually topic lang and also uh, i want to thank you amanda for inviting me today um i hope i was able to give knowledge and i was able to shed some light on some topics especially now that we're still adjusting to the new normal um it may be difficult and all but there's nothing uh that us moms cannot do so (laughs) we got this and happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to you and to all the Glamour Mamas watching today. Yes, happy Mother's Day to you too. I hope that, um, you know, you get spoiled tomorrow. and you <laughs> Spoiled every day. I get spoiled every day. <laughs> That's the way it should be, right? Like Yes. Every day. Um, mm-hmm. Thank you again for, for joining us. I really had so much fun. Um, yeah, me too. Thank you. I miss talking to someone. <laughs> Talk to me anytime. 
Thank you. You're welcome. That wraps up our live session for today. We will be in touch with the 10 mamas who uh, were lucky winners of the, of the gift packs that we are giving away today from United Home. Um, I want to say thank you again to Pauline Luna Soto, Soto for um, joining us with our partner United Home for making this whole uh, live possible. Please like and follow Pauline and United Home's official social media accounts. And remember to always stay safe and stay at home home glamour mamas can't wait to see you all at our next exciting facebook live happy mother's day again bye bye happy mother's day